Hey everybody, Courtney Smith here for April 13th, our Wall Street winners. Let's just dive right in here. Uh, this is uh, worse than COVID, if you ask me, but what can I say? All right, let's take a look at these markets here. <clears throat> well, we've been in this mini bull move now for some time. We've, we've gotten ourselves longer and longer. We're buying more stocks, but I guess I'm still nervous about this, and I'm saying that the way the market's looking at it is it's looking at COVID. And so the way the market's looking at it is it's saying, well, things are bad in New York City, but actually new infections are going down. Deaths are going up, but deaths are a lagging indicator. So the market is saying across the country in the United States, things are getting better as far as COVID-19 is concerned and is going to continue to get better. That's how the, that's why the market is rallying. The thing that makes me nervous is I keep looking at this and saying, we're going to be shut down until the end of April. That seems pretty clear to me. I don't know if we're going to be shut down till the end of May, but maybe sometime in May, we'll see most states lift their a shelter in place quarantines. But that means if we stay shut down till the end of April, that means another 10 million Amer Americans are going to be out of a job and we're going to be in depression levels. So look, I could be wrong, but I still think that the market has more to discount on the downside. But my philosophy always is to do what the market tells me to do. And right now the market is bullish. So I need to be bullish. My job is to not be right. My job is to make money. All right, let's take a look here. We have a very significant change here. This is the first week since uh, middle of February that there's more buying pressure than selling pressure. I mean, not a lot more, but more. And why? Because buying pressure is increasing and selling pressure is decreasing. Now, we've talked about this for some time, but the smart money is buying the NASDAQ. That's where they really want to be. That purple predictor up there has been bullish since really the end of February, beginning of March. So the market was plunging, but the smart money was buying. Looks to me like the smart money got it right. Seasonality, neutral. And remember, it's because the summer period is a neutral period in general. So it's not anything special. This is what it normally is. Let's break this down a little bit. Sitting president running, that's the green line. That's the one we should be paying most attention to. And as you can see, we're really going to be sideways until the beginning of June. And at that point, seasonality should get us a boost to the upside. Uh, yield curve, this has worked great for us. Uh, I, you know, I think you get it. All right. As I told you, we reached our peak in the VIX. The VIX will just keep coming down, down, down. Don't look for it to go back up again, or at least not anytime soon. Another significant change is money starting to flow out of the bond market. You see, in order for the stock market to rally, money has to come into the stock market. And that's why I show you this unique indicator that nobody else has showing you the asset allocation. So the money has to come from either cash or bonds. This shows cash, I'm sorry, this shows stocks versus bonds. And what it shows is, is that we're breaking out to the upside, showing that money is coming out of the bond market and into the stock market. That's very supportive of this little rally we've got going. Stock market risk decator is another critical component. When people want to make a lot of money, then they're willing to take risk. When people are afraid, then they don't want to take risk. So when the stock market was crumbling in February and March, you can see they did not want to take risk at all. Our risk decator collapsed. 
but we've started to see some signs that the market wants risk again. And you cannot have a bull market without the market wanting to take risk. So once again, our unique indicator showing the amount of risk that the market wants is starting, to, let's call it stability, but maybe even bullishness. Uh, global shares, roughly the same as the US, a mini bull. Uh, bonds fading a little bit here. I don't think this is any big deal. Um, if the market is correct and the COVID story is really about to be in the rearview mirror and that everybody's going to get back to work again, then in fact, bonds should start to sell off. I guess I'm still looking for more economic pain. I hope I'm wrong. And the market's telling me I'm wrong. So that's why my opinion, interesting. But I don't make money following my opinion. I make money following the market. Bond key factors showing stability. Dollar stability. Gold. I told you this a week ago. We've got to be long gold market. So gold has broken out again. It broke out a week ago after creating really a triple top here. And now we're just exploding to the upside in the gold market. You got to be long gold. Um, Two out of three indicators are bullish. One is neutral. So we're looking pretty good here. Now, the indicators that are bullish, by the way, are not that bullish, but fully paid up members get to see additional gold indicators, which make it clear why gold is exploding to the upside. Uh, crude oil had a hard day on Friday. It really, um, it really looked as though there was a that we were going to see some type of a cut. I, I heard numbers as much as two and a half to three and a half million barrels a day cut in the supply of crude oil from Russia, Saudi Arabia, and a couple of other places. But the, but the price action was terrible. So either those reports out of OPEC are false, or if they're true, then the demand for oil is collapsing even faster than three, three and a half million barrels a day. So we need to watch this very closely, but I think we are showing signs of stability here for sure. And Bitcoin, I, I just, I'm like I said, I haven't had a position now for a while. And quite frankly, I'm happy not having a position, okay? I think we can get ourselves back down below 4,000 again. But I don't have a strong enough opinion that I want to do anything about it. So I'm going to let Bitcoin slide. All right, freebies, thanks very much. Love having you here.